Scripture. I wish, okay. Welcome That's to we started episode podcast. four of Cabin Flannel. I'm your host, Caleb Jones. And, and I'm Ryan. Who's also a host. Yeah. <laughs> I just started, it just seemed appropriate to say, oh. I'm your host. Oh. It sounded so dramatic. Um, we had a pretty amazing day. <laughs> It was pretty awesome. We had our yeah. we had our fundraising concert for um, the Honduras trip at Western Hills third, Church. Third annual. Like yep, third annual. Yeah, true. It, it has been three years now. Um, it was a lot of fun. That was. It was very so different cool. from anything we've done before. Yeah, we de- we definitely took more. We, it was an acoustic concert. You know, it was more it's laid supposed back. Supposed to have a, a kind of like a coffee shop kind of feel to it. Yeah, we literally had um, the church coffee shop was open. So yes. that was cool. I don't know how many people took advantage of that, but, but uh, even yeah, so, it was you know pastries still pretty and cool. coffee and everything like that for people. Yeah, so, like a yeah. real coffee shop. Um, I don't. I can't remember if it was. I, I don't think it was the last concert, but I think it was the concert before that that just went horribly bad. <laughs> was it last concert? Wasn't great. I, we, I think I it mean, was we had like before that because I think the, I one, think the one was Caitlin went pretty well, and I okay. think she played with oh. us the last time also. Okay, um, I have. I mean, I have fond memories of all of them, but yeah. there's definitely yeah. some that you know were go, rougher than yeah. others. Um, some of them are, are better than others, and but yeah. they're always fun. I mean, I always have a good time yeah. doing them. Just sometimes, I mean, things go wrong sometimes. Like I felt like our preparation, even though we didn't have a lot of time to prepare, I mean, it's still went pretty well i felt good about it like going into today it was like we're gonna be all right like this is this is good we're we're just fine yeah and just a background i don't you know, i don't know if we haven't talked about how it a well lot, you know but us we're in a I'm guessing uh, pretty know. well because there's about four people who listen to this podcast <laughs> and and if you don't know us mothers. personally <laughs> and you're watching this uh i'm curious on how you come across this but you know yeah, it might tell happen. your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. If they're watching this, they probably don't have probably don't have friends. any. They're <laughs> probably just searching through YouTube, like seeing just what pops up. And but hey, the, you, you probably you, looked up two random words. You're like, oh, nobody's ever cabin and put flannel. cabin and flannel <laughs> together. <laughs> I bet no one searched this before. Yeah, and you'd be and right. You'd probably be right because when you look up cabin and flannel on YouTube, we pop up, <laughs> and yes. then there's a bunch of like videos of like. Um, uh, like quilting, and then like the word cabin is also in the title. Yeah, and like just by some random chance. Yeah, but that's like that's it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Yeah. But uh, um, anyway, yeah, we've we've been in a band. I don't since our junior. Year. Yeah, we really junior we started year. like sophomore year. We started sophomore really, year. And we started like meeting up for the first time and like having band practice. We started out in a garage. I mean, yeah, we were cliche, literally but literally a garage band. Yeah, literally in a garage. Um, um, it was it was fun though. I mean, even back oh, then, yeah. we had no idea what we were doing. It oh, was it was still... so bad. We we recorded. We, we spent all day oh, working on the song, and we recorded it. And no vocals because none of us wanted none of us wanted to sing. Do you know how big of a problem that it like? It's hard to find people who are willing to like sing in in the band. I mean, now mm-hmm. now it's like it seems like there's there's you know a good number of singers, but when you're starting something out, nobody's brave enough to sing. Oh yeah, no. everyone's always scared. It's like it's mm-hmm. for some reason that's the thing that scares people the most is like having to sing in front of people. Yeah. Um, but that was I mean good memories. <laughs> yeah, we started. We can uh, kind of go through our our story a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Why not that? Um. So I started out. You started you, before I did. Uh, with well, Josh, I with Josh, yeah, and and Thomas. I mean, we started out. It wasn't really a real band. I mean, we had this idea we, with some friends. We're like, hey, it'd be cool if we played in a band. But none of us really played an instrument except for Thomas. He knew how to play guitar, and he was a pretty good guitar player. Mm-hmm. But the rest of us had no clue. Like, I started out on a keyboard. I was just hitting keys. And he played and violin. Like, yeah, not even violin is the piano. only <laughs> instrument that I knew how to play, and and I didn't know how to incorporate it into you know our music. I mean, mm-hmm. what? Um, but uh, but you played guitar yes, already. I you had taken lessons. I have been taking lessons for a couple of years. I wasn't super into it. Uh, Thomas asked me when they were kind of messing around. He's like, "Hey man, you play guitar, right?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, you want to play in my band?" I was like, "Yeah." Uh, like I just didn't. I wasn't good <laughs> because I didn't. I never practiced. I didn't have a lot of passion for it back then. And so I was like, "No, no thanks. You know, <laughs> no whatever." Thanks. Dude. And then uh. One day, like once I started getting you know into it again with the youth group and that kind of stuff, yeah. I uh, sent Thomas a text. I was like, "Hey, you know, you, you guys still do that band thing? You know, asking <laughs> want to do a you know need another guitar player kind yeah, of thing." Yeah, we're pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just you know, toured Europe actually. Yeah, we just got back from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I texted him. He's like, oh, we don't really do that anymore." But you know, I'd be down to start again. Yeah. And so me, Caleb, and Thomas. Uh, 
started me on See, acoustic, Thomas yeah, on electric. On electric. And, and I decided, you know, I was like, I guess bass is no, what I'm going to play. We decided for you. Yeah, <laughs> which was fine by me. Because, like, the thing yeah. that happened was, it turns out both a bass and a violin have four strings. And they also happen to be the same strings, but they're the other way around. So I just didn't, um, like, I didn't know how to play bass, but the notes at least made sense to me. And, mm-hmm. like, the... And so that was a start, and I just started doing that. And then, I actually, I really liked it. So I started, like, just playing on my own, you know, like, learning yeah. stuff and looking things up. And then um, we met up, and we learned our first song. I think it was Boulevard of Broken it Dreams, It was Boulevard right? of Broken Dreams by Green Day. Yeah. Because it was the only song that both me and you That we knew. knew. And because Thomas and I listened to a lot of Christian music, and Caleb didn't yeah, back I then. Yeah, I didn't. I, and I so grew up we on couldn't find a song that secular we, music we, that we all knew. Yeah. Like, we just had different um, tastes, so we Thomas were... Thomas may have heard it. Before I can't remember if he knew. I, it. I think he um, heard it before, but you know, he had he had an important like he had like the lead part that he had to learn, and like he did learn yeah. it. Yeah, um, and he got the effects like down for the intro like mm-hmm. perfectly, which was crazy to me back then. Mm-hmm. Uh, it still kind of is. I couldn't do it. It's um, impressive. Yeah, it's a di- that whole world of like pedals and stuff is a, dude, a different uh, place. Yeah, you can learn. I mean, you can become the best you know guitar player in the world, and then you enter that world, and it's like it's a totally different, mm-hmm. totally different thing. Um. But yeah, that's how we started. We just started playing that song in particular. We spent and like days on it. Days. I mean, we didn't have a drummer at first. We did get somebody to come. I think we had Wolf, Wolf. come. He was he was a drummer, and then and he we didn't have a, a, a drum actual kit. drum set. We had a kid's drum set. It was literally like it was a like, quarter the size it of was, a normal yeah, one. It was like a scale model. <laughs> yes, um, but uh, it, it honestly didn't sound it, terrible. It worked. Like, I mean, Wolf it, he played the heck yeah. out of it. He did. I mean, um, it, it worked for what we needed it for, really, which was just k- kind of keeping a beat and keeping time and adding in a little something here and there. Yeah. But, um, uh, well, if he wasn't, he was he wasn't like a super close friend, and he wasn't like super passionate about it either. He was just kind of a fun thing. So yeah, I think we freaked him out um, too because um, someone didn't his <laughs> we wanted a stepdad or something or someone someone freaked him out. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because he he didn't think we were supposed to be playing the drum set. I think that's what it was. Oh he yeah. He didn't think that we were supposed to be playing on on his on Thomas's brother's drum set, and he felt guilty about it. And then he's like, "No, I just I shouldn't have played it. Like I didn't." And and was it him that when we tried to have like scheduled practices, he was like, "No, I don't want to." Yeah, schedule he's, practices. he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I don't do scheduled practices or yeah, something. Like, like, like right, it should man. just be well, a thing." Okay. But then like. How do you how are you, do you ever meet up for practice? That's, exactly, I don't know. It's but I'm not quite sure. Each, but to each their own, I guess. To each their own. But, but we uh, did find. Uh, I think we 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 put out posters. We did because yeah. we wanted to play in the in our junior year the schools of variety show. show yeah. yeah, which is what yeah we called it we called it a variety show, but it was it was, it was, a, know, talent it was a talent show. show. Um, but it was there's no like winner or loser or anything. It was just mm-hmm. a. Uh, you know, yeah, show off. You your have a talent, talent. go and yeah. do whatever you want on but stage. There were, <laughs> there were tryouts and stuff like that. It wasn't mm-hmm. just anyone kind of do. Yeah, but it you was could just walk up, but fairly big production. I mean, yeah, did they there's sell a tickets? lot of people. Um, they did sell tickets. Yeah. I think we didn't see any of that money, but no, <laughs> <laughs> no we they did, did sell. It was cheap though. It was. I it think was, it was like, like five bucks. Cause, yeah, because they charge you to see the school plays, but like for us, it was like half the price of what you would pay. I mean, yeah, it's a variety show. Like, yeah, exactly. But it's actually a pretty cool thing uh, there yeah, was two acts really cool our junior year we needed a drummer because we wanted to play yeah um, so we posted a rock and roll <laughs> we posted uh posters literally just posters like hey in the in drummer the school wanted. around the school we used like we asked teachers yep. that we could put them up in the classroom mm-hmm. um and uh that's we got a call back we, we got phil yes i believe it was we... the only person to respond yeah i think we've mentioned um, phil before on this I podcast think we did, because we said yeah. that we need to get him on which we 100% yeah did. which we should phil if you're out there <laughs> if you're listening somewhere out there in the ether come join us we'd yes. love to have you on the show yes he came up he came up with our name that's with like, cabin that's, that's why we mentioned him yeah he's yeah. the guy who came up with cabin flannel yes. um but we found him by posting the posters Posting posters, posting uh, posters, uh, literally what you do around with posters? The school, and he was in Thomas's class. Yeah, like, yeah, they were in the same history class, I think. Right? Or wasn't it? Wasn't I it think a it was license history. class? It was a license. Yeah, yeah. not Freeman's history because yeah, Freeman taught. Oh, English. by the way, yeah, Freeman taught English. I, Ryan <laughs> said that in like like two podcasts ago, but it's it's Freeman's English, not history. Not history. But neither of us, but neither of us picked up on it. We totally <laughs> missed it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so we met Phil, the Which one person to respond. Yeah, he was the one person to respond. We didn't know him. He was an upperclassman. He was an upperclassman. He was a senior. Like yeah. We were upperclassmen, I guess, because we were technically Yeah, ju- but he we was older juniors. than us. Yes. He was a year older. Um, and, and he, he texted, he emailed Thomas and was like, hey, I'm down to meet. And we're like, 
Honestly, so this was my my thought was this guy's gonna be like super weird <laughs> or like he's gonna be like yeah he's gonna like, who responds out. to a help like a drummer yeah water poster. the poster that they found on the wall yeah. and like I don't know I just was expecting something different mm-hmm. but then we walk in there and he's like he was the nicest guy yep he was super cool he was definitely a popular kid <laughs> oh yeah hundred <laughs> like, percent but he was one of the him. popular jerks he was no like he was a great one of the popular yeah, like, nice guy yeah he was a nice dude he was he was a lifeguard he was like yeah, he was, he was good literally a guy. lifeguard like, like if, he was uh, he, he was like you football know, in player a movie, yeah in a movie when they have the like stereotypical like like top of the class like perfect guy this is that him. like all the girls love this it's, is him. it's it's Phil it's Phil it, that's him. Um, um, but he was he was a great drummer, and he picked it up because he he hadn't drummed before. It was like he he didn't tell us this. He which, didn't tell us. I mean, it's yeah, not, which is fine because yeah. it, it was a tryout. But so we I thought. I mean, when he played, I wasn't at the first tryout. But when he when he was, was playing there. for us, we thought that like like he's been playing for playing a while. For he years. was really good. He was very good at it, coming up with his own drum beat. Yes, he was a unique player. Like yes. even like like you know you play with drummers and there well there's a rock beat or mm-hmm. there's you know there's a swing beat or there's like. He like he was good at just making up beats like things yeah. I'd never heard before, and mm-hmm. I was like, "This is interesting." Like it was yeah. cool, and it was it sounded so good. And mm-hmm. we found out later, it's like, "Yeah, I've been playing for like three years." Yeah, like I picked it up, you know, two summers ago or something. Yeah, it was like, like seriously, I, I was like, "Okay, all right, Phil." And he picked up else you're good at acoustic guitar and like. No yeah, time and at he's, all. That and he's a so great mad. guitarist too. That made me like, so mad. He picked it up and like he could play. He was playing tap, which is where you yeah. like you take the fretboard and you tap it with your right hand as well as your left, and like that's he's not like, easy to do. You he don't sent just us pick a video. He's like, I know it's not very good, but don't judge. And he'd been playing for like six months at this time, and it's not something I can do now. I and know. I've been playing for longer than Come I on, in, Bill. Man. If you're out so. there, can you just like take it down a few <laughs> levels so the rest <laughs> of us can you know at least pretend we're cool? Gosh, he was like you know stereotypical. Perfect guy. <laughs> he was awesome. Uh, yeah, he's great. And so we did the the variety show. Yeah, and it went, which was it went pretty exciting. Well. The thing um, that happened. So there was another band. They're called yes. the Cozies. I don't, I don't know if they are they're still together, um, but they. I don't know what, the, what they what I they do. Know. They were they were good. Okay, I mean they had they like, were amazing. These were yeah. the seniors. These been, were the seniors know, who'd been, been around. Like every show People liked stuff. him. The lead the lead guy. He was a heartthrob. Like he was, you know. Yeah. Um, they were they were good. Like the the guitar player played for the jazz band, and he could play chords that I can't even pronounce. And then um, <laughs> the the bass player played for the jazz band. He was an amazing bass player. They were all like better versions of us, hundred <laughs> like, percent. And so more we, popular, we better, more popular looking, better looking, better, better at music. music. <laughs> and we saw them. We watched them, and they took the house down, dude. Like they, oh yeah. So there were there were two acts. They closed. We closed yeah. the first. We act. closed the first. They act. closed the second act. We did the get whole show. to do that, which was cool. I mean, like yeah. that. That's basically that's like the second best spot. Mm-hmm. You know? And we were the only other other band. band. Yeah. Um, it was just us two bands. Like that. Was yeah. It. And it, it's kind of thing that lends itself to bands being just a little bit more. Yeah. Like if you have a band, entertaining. You're you're probably either going to be like the closing of one act or like the end of the show because it's like yeah. there's just more going on you exactly know? it's more yeah. of a conclusion um but so that was our freshman no sorry uh, junior, junior year. year variety show and that's yeah. how we found phil and phil was our drummer for a long time and well a year mm-hmm. um until he moved to college and he's yeah. still in missouri he's still, we yeah. still talk to him some from time to time we haven't seen him five in a hours while, away i think um, yeah um, we freaked out though after our performance. Like we went back because we were so nervous <laughs> behind stage. We'd never performed in front of people before. You no, know, this like, was that our was, first time as a band performing in front of yeah, in front of people. It was you know? terrifying, and we we played two original songs too, which was probably not wise. We played "Take It Away" and "Break Free." Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. and I those are two those are two away. songs that we wrote, yeah. and like nobody knew what they were. Like it was just like what in the world. And it probably, in retrospect, it probably wasn't a great choice because no. you know nobody knows who we are. And better than the choice that we almost made. Our we next almost year. we almost sang Akuma Matata. Well, I was, like, was going to build up to that, you know. <laughs> but whatever, you know, just fine. Just <laughs> throw it out there. No, it was. We were really close well, to doing it too. Like we were about to start, we, and then we literally started, and then the yeah, XM was like, XM was no. like, nope, do something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank gosh for thank God we, but yeah. the reason we were gonna do Hakuna Matata from the Lion King is cause <laughs> the theory before the Cozies they did they Rip did My Pants Rip from My Spongebob, Pants from SpongeBob and, and did it so killed well killed it and it was it's not even you know like you know oh well I you know some people can like make the song sound approximately like what it sounds mm-hmm. like. It was the song. It <laughs> they, was the song. They were talented enough. And I mean, they could play the song. And yeah. they, they brought it. I mean, Wyatt, everyone loved it. Yeah, the lead singer was just walking around. He sat on the edge of the stage and just kind of like yeah. sat there. Like he looked uh-huh. like this is what he does, you know. <laughs> and I remember watching being like, man, these guys are awesome. And then in the back of my head being like, 
screw these guys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because they showed us up so they, bad. They did. And um, then the good thing was, is when we came back next year, we were we were the band. Like the we weren't supposed to be. Yeah. Well, wh- what was the deal? Because there was another band, right? So that, what happened? It well, first off, next year. Um, our drummer was gone, so we uh, yeah he was at college. Talked to one of our pretty good friends. I played tennis with him, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, he played drums, and yeah. you know, so Tanner. we talked to him, and he played with us. Also, fantastic drummer. Yeah, uh, he, he was like he was like a trained like he had yes. played for a long time, and he played with a jazz band. He was yeah. like a trained drummer. Like yeah. he he Very, knew a thing or two. Yeah, he was awesome, and mm-hmm. you know, good friend and stuff like that. So that yeah. worked out pretty well. Um, so we used him for the variety show, and I think a couple other shows we had him play. Yeah, there was several other shows. Of, yeah, when we played at churches or like other things where we had where we played yeah. with him. But um, um, and so variety show senior year, uh, different guy heading the thing. Yeah, and like so, a different a teacher was the guy running it because yes. one year we li- really liked the first guy, yeah. and I ended up liking the second yes, guy too. But he was but, he's a guy who's hard to read. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's kind of he's a he's a jazz professor, you know, and he was kind of a hard case, you know, like he did he yeah. was not easy on you if you were which is good. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but yeah. it makes him in, a bit intimidating. Yes, a hundred percent. He's a you know big black guy too, which yeah. you know, but he was just an intimidating dude, you know. Yeah, but like, ended up being like a super cool guy, yeah. and, stuff and like he that. even played with us, which was yeah, great. He, uh, that that was cool because it made me it made me feel so validated. I was like, yeah. okay, we're not that bad because <laughs> he actually wanted to play with us, which yeah. is which was good. Um, but like for tryouts, the first the first year, our junior year, we just played both those songs all the way through, and the guy was like, yeah, man. Uh, honestly, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew how to set up everything up. Yeah, that was not care about the music. He didn't really care about the music. And the other thing, I mean, he told us, he's like, yeah, I mean, the levels were pretty bad. Like, he told us, he's like, you guys yeah. need to work on, like, what the levels and all that, but, you know, you know you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Like, he he didn't, but he, it's interesting because he didn't show, like, wow, that was so great. Like, he talking about junior year? Oh, I was talking about I'm, senior No, I'm talking about junior You're talking about junior year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The okay. guy, he, no, was no, he like, was, yeah. He, like, we played, we played like, like, all, all the way through. a song or something, No, we played all the way through both of our songs. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. And then and then he was like, Yeah, I just want to make sure like you guys could set everything up. Like yeah. that's the main thing I was focused mm-hmm. on. So he's like, Yeah, you know like he was much less like his bar for yeah. entry was so much was lower. So much lower. But next remember, year for tryouts though, yeah. We it was our first time playing with Tanner. Um uh-huh. our second time, first or second time. Um we got <sighs> this two new verse. Tanner too, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. We got through I think a verse of our first song. He's like, Okay, that's mm-hmm. enough. Like, yeah. Uh, like, uh, okay. Like we okay. we have another song. So okay, play it. And we will play that. We get forty five seconds. And it's, okay, mm-hmm. that's good. Yeah. It's like uh, okay. So yeah, I'll sign up the list. See if you guys are on it. And so he like didn't even he didn't even react. Like it yeah. was it was kind of like well, did we make it? Like yeah, he didn't tell us. He didn't say it. Um, it, w- it wasn't until we got the list, and then we saw the list, and he put us. Did he put us in the end of the first act? First? No, we were in the middle of one of the acts. I think the uh, second act. What he did. Is what I mean, which is fine, you know. Uh, but he had the drum line. No, the drum line was the were the people who like finished out one of the acts. Well, we closed the first act again. Yeah, they they finished the show. They he put the he but put there the, was there was one person who was like the closer, and then they had the drum line. Yeah, but yeah. uh, but they had there was another band, and so it wasn't we yeah. were hoping it'd be just us this year, you know? Like, yeah, we're yeah, like be, we we can be the band, you yeah. know? Yeah, but no, there was another band, and he he loved it. I mean, he had them closing. I think he had them closing he, the show. Like, yeah, I think he knew. I think he line. knew who they were. Yeah, yeah, but like we go up to the first rehearsal, and they're like, "Yeah, so uh, our bass player dropped out, but we're just gonna have our key, our keyboard player play the bass notes." He's like, "Okay, let me hear it," and so oh, they play. I He's that. like, "No." He that's just, not that's just, not the band I heard. That's not as nearly as good as I heard last time. Yep. Figure it out or you're out of the show. Yep. And they couldn't figure it they out. Didn't so figure they didn't figure it they out. Got kicked out. I remember so, that. That was freak- I totally forgot about that, dude. Yep. I forgot that because we no, were there for they that. were the closers for the first act. We were halfway through the second act. That's yeah. what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Cause they that okay. I do remember that because that, that freaked the heck out of me, dude. Because I'd never seen someone like he stopped yeah. him quick and was like, Nope, that doesn't sound good enough. Like that's mm-hmm. like that's what he said. Uh, yep. And I was like, holy Crap! <laughs> like, is it gonna be but, us uh, when we? And so we got moved to the closing. We of the got first moved, act yes, that, because they got kicked out. Um, yeah, which we took as a. I mean, like, we 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 were we were excited for that because one, he was gonna put 
the drum line at the end, no matter what, because he was at the head of the drum yeah, line. Yeah, he was the yeah. Yeah, so he was like he had decided. I mean, when it was his thing, which wasn't really fair, because I was like I feel like we. Yeah, but know, I, f- I feel like the show kind of had a closer and then the like, and then, drum line. Like, I feel like, like I feel you like could separate it. The you guy, know. Be, the person who went right before the drum line was supposed to be it was Paul. It was Paul Fredrickson. Yeah, it was Paul. Yeah. The guitar player <laughs> for the Cozies the year before. Yeah, no last name. We just <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're that's talking a, about. That's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. There's gonna be five uh, people who listen to this. Yeah, that's um, true. But it was um, Paul, and he's he's a really talented, super guy. super talented. Yeah, and so he was the the closer before. Yeah, the drum yeah, line. That's you're right. And he he played um, with us at at for like our grad party, our um, grad party, and then he opened for us at our first at our first fundraiser, fundraiser concert, concert, which was which one we'll of the talk best about. concerts. Yeah, one of the um, best concerts ever. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about that. But one. But the second variety show, like Paul Paul did really good, but again, it was just him, and I feel like. Mm-hmm. I feel like we were actually the best acts. Yeah, not our like year. not in in terms of like skill or like no, you know, but no, like definitely we not. were just we were a full band. Exactly. So it would have been and a better you know, and that might be why you know he put us at the end of the first act was because the drum line was going to come up and they're yeah. like they're I mean they're a drum band you know like exactly. that's what they do. So, um, but th- that's okay. I mean like I had I had a great time. I thought it was one of our better performances. Like yeah, um, looking back on it, the music was pretty good. <laughs> Did, we didn't record that one. Though, it right? was recorded. It w- the when we did broken and when we did mm-hmm. you and me yeah oh okay yeah they the school recorded it. oh the school recorded oh yeah you're it's, right. it's on YouTube I totally and forgot I'm, about that it's bad it's it I tried to watch it a few nights bad. ago the music was fine like I, I think we sounded okay yeah but we were trying so hard to to be like be active to and be stuff like, like that yeah because like well, well we, we had went was this after Camp Electric or is this before yes, Camp Electric. it was after Camp yeah. Electric. So we had learned from this camp, you know, there was this this guy who came in and told, like, this is what you do on stage. You know, you got to, like, move. You got to have energy. You got to, mm-hmm. like, perform, you know? Yeah. And, like, we were very much in that mindset, you know? And we but, were trying, we were going for, like, a rock and roll yeah. kind of thing. And, like, first of all, when you don't, if you're just musicians, like, on a stage and you don't have, we don't have the production value of, like, a big mm-hmm. band. You know? Or the we experience. Don't have, or, or the experience. Yeah. Like, it's different. And when the music doesn't quite match up with the actions on stage like <laughs> if you're like going crazy and the music's actually kind of mediocre <laughs> yeah it just looks yeah. bad it was a uh, of course you know experience we were young i mean we didn't know what we were doing we were just excited to be on stage yeah like, and it was a blast and we did i mean we made my mom cry yeah which was awesome uh but the second night uh we had this our last song uh broken which is mm-hmm. like one of our uh uh, as part songs. of yeah, as our uh, from our old band, that was that was probably personally that was my favorite that we oh, yeah. that we wrote. Oh yeah, that was um, definitely one of my favorite, and it was the one that people asked for too. Like if they knew that we were gonna play it, they're like, well, "We're gonna do broken." Yeah, that was like, always kind of that was our that was our like that was like our song. song. Yeah. yeah, um, and that I I that was the one that Exxon played with us. That mm-hmm. um, the professor, the professor, I'm in college. The professor, gosh, dang it, the teacher of the. Um, drum the band, line, yeah. yeah, the guy who was in charge of the first, he played that song with us because I think he liked it. I mean, mm-hmm. um, and we'd, so we'd, we'd been told, like, I, I feel like this is really self serving, but like, we played it for people before. Like, remember um, David from Music Institute when, yeah. we, when we used the room? Like, he thought it was great. I, I had, I it used honestly, to take lessons it's a from really it. good song. Yeah. Like, it's, it's we, good. We wrote some bad songs. Yeah, we wrote bad songs, and but we had Broken one or was two. a really good one. Yeah, we had one or Fire two. Fire and Love, that, I think, was good, too. Oh, yeah, I really Broken love Fire was, and Love. That was definitely our, our best one. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, you know, we're we're young people, like, just trying to, to play music. I mean, yeah. we're not, like, we're not world changers. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but I think it's our best one. It's I mean, not, shoot, like, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. not saying much. It's not saying but a lot, but you was, know what? We it was had honestly fun. a pretty good song. Yeah. It was very, and it was I, really catchy. I always, it was catchy. I always had fun playing it. I loved when we played it. Yeah. It was so much fun to play. And that was enough for me. I mean, and then and then people would approach us afterwards mm-hmm. and tell us, uh, like, how much they liked it and what, that it meant something to them. Mm-hmm. And, like, and that's that's the best feeling ever. Yeah. I mean, when someone we'll walks talk up about to that you, later yes, I, wanna, I do want to share that story. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Yeah. It um, just, it, it's such a great feeling. Uh but yeah, but like during that song, uh, there's like an epic guitar solo by Thomas who freaking shredded it every time. Yeah, um, and then there was a player. there was a drum breakdown where he's or Tanner just goes yeah. crazy like <laughs> drum roll <laughs> <laughs> <and> we're all <laughs> over the, the drums. Thomas is going on the guitar. Yeah, John, Tanner's on the drums, and then, we, <laughs> and then we end it and like we don't end the song, but we end that that solo and like mm-hmm. everyone started clapping and cheering. That was. That a was a great feeling. That was an awesome feeling. And um, it probably looks stupid, you know. Oh, like we 100%. all like to go it around did. the drum I and we jump it. back yeah. and like we but, so cool. <laughs> but being unpopular kids, having like yeah. the school cheer, for having you, the school that was a great, a, a feeling. awesome feeling. And then my mom, my mom teared up when everyone yeah, started cheering and stuff like that, and which just yeah, makes 
makes my heart. See, these warm. that's like if I'm gonna look back at high school and look at things that I liked, it's gonna be memories like that. Oh, like yeah. playing or like like homecoming. Do you remember when we played at the homecoming barbecue? We can talk about that next. Oh, I yeah. think that was the next time we performed. That was yeah. That was after the um, the talent show our junior year, and that was a well. It was kind of a disaster. It was a hundred percent a disaster. We had we had practice. That was our senior year. That was our senior year. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. It was senior year. We had practice and like I honestly I think we were ready. I mean, we were exploring like you know we had different people singing and we were like trying some different things. Mm-hmm. But um, Phil was out was out of town. Yeah, I think he might have been at college already. He was at college. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, he our, was senior our senior year. year. So. Um, he wasn't in town, and we needed to we needed to get to the barbecue at like I think it started at six at five. I think it was early. Oh, at five. Yeah, whatever. yeah. We five got there six, at like six because yeah, it was we were supposed to get there at like five, but Phil. We were only thirty minutes late. Uh, yeah, but it was it was a good. I mean, it was thirty minutes that we definitely should have. <laughs> oh been yeah, there. yeah. Um, because we got asked like we our friend Josh was on the like Stuco, mm-hmm. and he was like, yeah, we have this event going on. If you guys want to play at the barbecue, I mean. That would be great. So we're like, yeah, we'd love to do that. Mm-hmm. And so um, Phil got stuck on the side of the road. His, His car, car broke, broke down, down on the way on the way to the thing. Yeah, we didn't think he was going to make it. He texted us and he's like, "Hey, my car broke down. I'm like stuck." And his he had, brother, his drums were at his house. Yeah, and, like he had everything. the drums. We didn't have a drummer. Like if he yeah. didn't show up, we weren't going to have a drummer. And so his brother ended up helping him out, picking him up. We went to, over to his house, tried to like in a scramble, just get all his gear. Mm-hmm. We loaded everything up. We showed up like 30 minutes late, by by, and which was really quite miraculous, like that we even made it there yeah. in time at all. We did end up playing through most of our set. We did. Um, um, we just started our last song. Yeah, and, and the freaking marching XM band again. No, it was it was. Um, uh, was it Chaffee? Other guy, Chaffee. Yeah, Chaffee. He <sighs> he walks out with the marching band. And because it was homecoming, and they thought we were literally on our last song, like yep. they, I guess he thought we were like encroaching on their territory or something. I don't know what he claims that he didn't know that we were playing. There's no, no way he, he didn't faced know. the band towards exactly the, he towards did. the barbecue, and he had them playing as they were marching down and turn and face us, yeah, and just played over us. It was and like it was like battle of the bands, except one of the bands is like. You know, a, t- a ten-year-old huge. kid, and like the other, the yeah. other band is like freaking Goliath. <laughs> yeah. So we kind of like just kind of awkwardly stopped. Like, yeah, like in we the tried to keep song, playing, but it we didn't work. We kind of looked at each other, like, "Well, this sucks." It sucks. Also, they kind of just had us on like this wooden, like small wooden board, wooden board outside. Yeah, this will work for you, right? Yeah. And the acoustics were bad. You couldn't hear the horrible. vocals because <laughs> it was just it was a mess. It was a mess. It's fun. It was fun. Like but, I have to say, like it was. Um, we kind of got onto the back end, so there weren't like a ton of people, you know, still yeah. at the barbecue. But there were people, and, and they, like you know, they it, was, it, was it was fun. Yeah, it yeah. was. We got to play songs, you know. We got to, and I mean, how many? You know, it's kind of a cool, just high school thing. Like we did something for an event at our school as mm-hmm. a band, and yeah. like, yeah, that was just that was a thing. I mean, it was it was fun. Then okay, so after that, I got to tell this part because so after we packed everything up, we went to the football game for a while. Um, yes. At least I did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we went to the football game for a while, and then we headed back to Thomas's house because we were gonna like hang out there. That's where. Well, that's where all the music that's where all the music stuff needed to go. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I was driving back. I was the first one headed to Thomas's house. I'm driving down his road. He's he lives about out in the three country. minutes ahead of us. Because yeah, we, I think we're just packing some stuff. Up yeah, you were still packing some stuff up, and he lives way out in the country. So I was I was driving out there, and I'm going about forty, and then boom, a freaking deer jumps up, and I just I hit it like. The windshield shatters. It scares the heck out of me. I had no clue what happened. And I didn't see the I mean, deer. you were right outside Thomas's yeah, house. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I mean, like 0.2 miles away. Like, I, it was really close. Like, yeah. there's a hill that goes down to his house. I was like at the hill. Mm-hmm. It was, I was almost there. And I didn't see the deer at all until it jumped up in the air and hit my windshield. And it was just getting dark, you know? And like, yeah. it scared the heck out of me, dude. Yeah, the, so we get a text from Caleb. He's like, hey. Yeah, I think I called you guys. I just hit a deer. You might have. Yeah, um, I, I'm pretty sure I called you because I couldn't text i was too yeah. freaking i was I just hit a deer. You're like no you didn't come on we just yeah, put a, thought, we just put a prank on phil we're not that yeah stupid. Seriously, they thought i was joking <laughs> and i was like no i like for real hit a deer and like my windshield's broken <laughs> dude your windshield it didn't like shatter but yeah like, it caved in it caved and in. It was, there were tufts of yeah. hair in yeah it, there was in hair from the deer like stuck yeah. in the cracks <laughs> from that the deer just got up and ran away like I don't know if it was fine, but it like it. I hit it. It bounced off my windshield, shattered the windshield, landed on the other side in the ditch. Just got up and ran into the trees. Like, and thankfully, the only thing damaged on your car was your was windshield. the windshield. Somehow, yeah. somehow, you like okay. it didn't dent. I was and fine. I got. I took some some glass. Like when it hit the the wave hit, I took some some glass spray to the face, but Ow. it didn't like. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> um, 
it just scared the heck out of me more than yeah. anything. And then my car was really fine besides the windshield. Like yeah. um, we had to replace that and but it didn't like dent the hood, it didn't dent anything of the metal. And then I <laughs> I locked my keys in the car because we got the windshield <laughs> replaced and I left the keys in the car for some reason for the guy because I was like, Oh, well, I'll be nice, you know, so he has the keys. But it turns out he had a different set of keys. So he's like, Yeah, I, I threw the keys in there and locked them because because <laughs> I guess he was assuming we had another pair of keys. So both keys were just locked in the car. <laughs> both my parents were out of town that week. I was yeah. not yeah, yeah, I was just home alone. So I had I called I didn't my dad have a car at this point. Yeah, so I was just stuck outside my house like Mm -hmm. without any way to leave or get you know so i called my dad i was like hey my keys are locked in the car like both of them and i i don't know what to do (laughs) and so it was late at night i remember that too um and uh so what he ended up doing was he he called the the triple a there's a triple a guy and he came in um and like like used one of those um those air things to like bend the window back and he kept telling me he's like this might break your window and I was like, oh, great, it's going to happen all over again. Um, but he uses it, you like, fill it up with air, and it, it pushes the window out so you can get in. And then he used, like, a coat hanger to, like, hit the unlock button. And, like, hmm. it it worked. Like, he got it. And then I got my keys, and I was like, thanks. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, left. He, was, he could tell he was just like, just this is what I do. And yeah. I freaking, people are stupid. And I'm like, yeah, yeah you're probably right. Yeah, so that was a... Uh, that was our homecoming. Yeah, that that's was, something I won't forget. That was rough. Yeah, that was um, scary. Then was our next concert our first fundraiser concert? I want to say that feels right. That feels like the next big one that I remember. We played at churches so, like throughout, yeah, like those. We yeah. didn't really, you know, count those. Our, that was uh, just, our drummer Phil was the pastor's son for a church, yeah. and so we played at his, we played his church, at, at his church quite a few times. Um, but our first fundraiser concert, which I think is our next like show. Um, yeah, we actually did it in the same building as the the Dirty old church. church. They yeah, they, moved they were in the process of moving, and they still had like paid that month's lease, but they were all out. Yeah, of the building. So it was just an open space. That so he gave us the keys. So yeah, damn, you guys Phil's can dad do. gave us the keys, and he he did more than that. He helped us. Like Dude, he helped he, us set his things. His up. whole family, like Phil, they're just Phil is perfect because so cool. he comes from a family of perfect people. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, like his family heck? is. His awesome. dad went out of his way. His dad was a busy dude. I mean, he was a pastor of a church. He had like all sorts of other stuff. And he put took time out of his day to come help us like set things up at the church, a place that yeah. he'd already emptied out. Yeah, and we were just setting things up over there. Um, which it the was place, the perfect venue. The place was awesome. It was, yeah. I think, before it was the church. It was a uh, ceiling or it lamp. Was a, it was a light. It was a light store. Like, yeah, uh, and so there were no actual lights, lights in it. There was yeah. just a bunch of uh, outlets. Uh, outlets under mm-hmm. in the ceiling. For, yeah, you know, for them to. So we had to, we had to get lights. Like we had to like uh, we had to buy lights. We had to use different kind of lights. You know, we yeah. had to like we. Uh, so we actually, I think this is when we found Dave's lights, right? Yeah, this is when we met Dave. Um, that guy's an interesting cat. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Super. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's a super nice guy. Maybe a little weird. Yeah, who <laughs> isn't though? Yeah, I mean, um, we're all weird, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He's a special. Really nice guy. Really nice guy. Yeah. It was just and ended one of the only. I mean, the only guy in Topeka who has a lighting store, like like a legitimate like stage light, yeah, like like, like performance that's what he does. Performance, kinda, you know, show lights, lights you know, strobes, yeah, spotlights, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, like so, like synchronizing it with the music and stuff. I mean, that was like yeah. that's something he does. We we used him for like two three, or three of our shows, three concerts. Yeah, because it was the two fundraisers and then the uh, food drive one we did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so. Yeah, so that concert, that was one of my favorite concerts that that's, we've done. That's one of my favorites that it I've ever played. It was a great from, turnout. I don't yes. know how we got that many people there. I don't know there either. There was maybe 50. There was, there was a lot of people. And the, which the is a lot environment, us, Which okay. is a lot for us. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. Like, we might say 50 people showed up, and they're like, 50 people? What? Yeah. But, but you got to remember. We're just remember, some seniors in high school. Yeah, that, we were just some seniors. and Like, we didn't. We didn't know anybody. I mean, yeah, like, we, we weren't just, popular. We were a starting band. We were yeah. popular. Like, and these people, there were just people walking in. Like, it was mm-hmm. it was cool. It was crazy. We had and to set we up didn't more have chairs. enough seats. Yeah, yeah we, we set up like a bunch of seats, being optimistic. You know, like, <laughs> oh well, this would be cool if this many people showed up. Mm-hmm. Even more people showed up. We raised a crap ton of money. We raised five hundred ninety eight dollars. Yeah, and this was for our. Uh, we were going to Honduras for a mission trip. Yeah, um, and it pretty much got me there. Yeah, like which was awesome. It's crazy. It was so much fun. Um, and this is the one that. Paul uh, opened, opened for yeah. us. Um, and he, super nice guy. Yeah. And what uh, a beautiful, like, oh I mean, my gosh. gosh. Perfect opener. Perfect like, opener. It was fantastic. It was just him and his guitar, and he just... And uh, the girl sang with them for oh, yeah, song yeah. too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith. Yep. Faith, yeah. Um, she killed it, too. Yeah, but it was uh, amazing. I remember uh, Paul's 
grandma came in and he was getting ready to perform and I walked in because I was just you know introduced I was like hey mm-hmm. welcome you know yeah people just in through the door the crowd. yeah and uh, his grandma walked in and she was a you know very old woman and I was and I was like here I can help you to see because it was dark mm-hmm. you know it was very dark in there because there weren't any yeah. lights <laughs> and so um, we so I walked her over there and she she stops and I'm like what's going on and she looks at the stage and it's Paul and she goes that's my grandson. Like she was like Aww. so proud and excited. And mm-hmm. like, I took her to a seat. She's like, thank th- you. know, thank you. She was so nice. And it was just, it was such a cool moment. And then yeah. the whole place, the whole environment was just the perfect place for a concert like that. Like it was, it was dark in the, in the audience. All the lights were on this, this stage mm-hmm. that just lent itself to like performance. We had our own amps. We had everything set up. Yeah. Like it was, it was awesome. Yeah, um, it's a cool show. And after the show, my my guitar teacher was there, and he yeah. came up to me. Yeah. He said, "Hey, you guys sounded great. I'm I'm doing a concert tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, our opener dropped out. Yeah, they dropped out. Do you guys want to play? I, oh crap, yeah. dude! I remember I had work the next day. I had to call in, yeah, and I just told him, "Hey, I'm not going to be at work, and I'm sorry, but not I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather be playing a show." Yeah. Like, <laughs> and so we did pretty much the same set list and everything. We cut a couple songs. Uh, yeah, one or two because we were an opener, so we yeah. didn't want to take up all the time. Which we ended up getting like the best slot because by the time it was a long concert. Was a, yeah, there were it was three, there were three pretty bands. much three concerts. Yeah, well, two and us, two and the opener. Yeah, um, but it was a couple hours long, and and like by the time the real musician, like the real guys who are a real band, who, yeah. who we got to have meet records and stuff, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, worked with like Toby Mac or whatever. Yeah. Like um, by the time they went up to play, it, people, people had left. Gone, yeah, because yeah, it was like it, <laughs> it was, was just such a, a late free kind of you know thing. Yeah, but it was um, it was that was a cool experience it in blast. its own right. Didn't go as well, but I think it was just because we weren't as comfortable, comfortable with the um, environment. And like, and yeah. it didn't go poorly. It was. It wasn't bad. No, it was just. You know, a different setup. That that one's on YouTube still, and it has a surprising amount of views. <laughs> really, I haven't even yeah. looked at that. It's a, it's got like 180 views or something. Oh, which geez. it's so because we didn't post that one. That that's just no, we it's just under. Did we post it? Yeah, I thought it, I thought somebody else posted. No, because my sister recorded it. The oh okay, yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I know we I know we recorded. Wait, are you talking about the first night or the the Sunday? No, the second night. Oh, crap. the first night we didn't get it recorded. Sadly, because it was oh yeah too. Um. Yeah, dang, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, it has a surprising amount. Like, it was, it was a cool, and we got to meet those guys in that band. We got to hang out with them in the green room. Yeah, they were all like super nice. And yeah, and they, it was cool because they like expressed a lot of. They're like, yeah, we're so glad that you know you young, you young kids are getting into this, mm-hmm. you know, because they, they were, you know, they look like they've been around 40s, for a while. Fifties, like, yeah, yeah, and um, I was like, yeah, this is cool. You know, this is like one of those experiences where like you really feel like you're becoming part of this this world. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's on our band YouTube channel. <laughs> Man, I did not know that. Yeah. I, I didn't know we posted that. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. So that was pretty that much was, the same show, just different places, different. Yeah, nights. just a different. different um. Spot. Super fortunate to be able to play the second night. That was mm-hmm. just perfect timing and everything. Yeah. Um. So cool. We were invited back next year, but we I think we were gone. I don't or even something. know. Yeah, we something able to make it. We weren't able to do it for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I mean, stuff changes. You know. Yeah. It's, it, and it then, gets crazy. I don't think it wasn't until our, our next like we had our another, graduation. We yes, did a, graduation. We did a little we did show a, at a graduation. small show, like thirty minutes. Nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. too. We just thought like first of all the the place was beautiful. I really the place wish, was amazing. Yeah, you know what I wish we could have done? I wish we could have had a show like we did to like tonight. Yeah, um, like an acoustic show that out there. Happen. No, it wasn't going to happen. But. Um, that would have been because it was a beautiful garden. Gorgeous. I mean, it was. It was. Yeah. It was an old, old building, um, like a historical part of town, mm-hmm. and uh, the garden was just huge so gardens, pathways, and yeah. like this huge, like like ceremony kind of place that we yeah. played at. Um, and we um, and we played just out there with the backdrop of this garden, which is yeah. so beautiful. It was awesome. Paul uh, played with us for that. Paul, yeah, he, Paul drummed for us. The guy who opened, uh, yeah, and played with the cozies. He plays. He plays everything. His whole family is like super. He's musical-y. recorded. He's recorded songs. Um, his family has a recording studio. His brother, I think, runs one. Yeah, yeah. and he uh, he's recorded entire songs with just him. Like he's he's yeah. played all the parts. Yeah, he's stupid good. Yeah, um, but he played drums for us, which was was pretty cool it was pretty cool it, it made me feel good because he played for the cozies you know and i yeah. was like hey are we on the so level like, of the cozies now <laughs> are we like <laughs> and he was such a cool guy to hang out with like we play we played dungeons and dragons with them once you remember we that did i yeah. so it fun a cool experience so fun i wish we could have yeah. done it again i know we didn't we um, never did go but back things got but weird <laughs> things did get weird i mean as it always does with, yes with that but, kind of thing, but honestly it was 
It was a blast. It was cool. I know it sounds nerdy playing Dungeons and Dragons, but oh, I don't care. It's not nerdy. It was Dude, fun. Have you? <laughs> it, this is the 21st century. It's it's cool, man. <laughs> no, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, so we did see. Well, uh, that play that that um, uh, that well, Michaela and I went to not too long ago. Um, it was about Dungeons and Dragons and like how it's you know it was a cool play. It was it was pretty cool. But yeah, that's what made me think like, well, Dungeons and Dragons is cool, okay? Because it's it still is. not. It should be, yeah, but it should it's be. not. Um, so that was our uh, graduation party. It was mm-hmm. Caleb Thomas and I had our grad party together, so it was yeah, perfect place to play all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was just fun. I mean, our families, you know, we knew our, our families would enjoy it. It'd be kind mm-hmm. of fun just to play something. You know, yeah. it was. It might have been a little self serving, but it was like it was. No, I that's what we so. like to do. Yeah. We like to play music. I mean, you know, so we we did, um, and then. We, I think the next one was the next year's Honduras fundraiser. Yeah. We didn't go to Honduras again, but our singer Maddie did. Maddie did. And so she, she sang in the youth band with us. We, Caleb and I, uh, and Thomas kind of not took over the youth band, but we, we were, we were, we were the for, members of the band for, yeah, for, for a good amount of time. And, uh, Maddie was just another member of youth. A lot younger than we thought she was. I know. I always thought... A yeah, fantastic singer. Yeah, she is a great singer. ridiculously good. Um, and so she sang, started singing the youth band. And so like, we asked her, like, hey, would you want to sing with us for like... Sing in our band? Yeah. Band? <laughs> um, our she, band band? <laughs> <laughs> so she said, yeah. And so she's... I mean, she's been singing yeah, with us ever which since. Which is really great because I, I prefer, like, especially with in a band setting, like, I'm cool. I like playing bass, mm-hmm. you know? I like, I'll sing for, for some songs that I, I like to or, yeah. you know, or if, if you know, songs I've, that I've written or something, you know, mm-hmm. like, but there's other songs where I'm like, I'd rather just play my instrument. Yeah. And I'd, um, I'd love to sing. I'm just not super comfortable with yeah. it. So, you, you, Maddie, you're not bad sounding, dude. You're, you're hard on uh, yourself, but you're, yeah. you don't sound bad. It, everyone's so self-conscious about their voice. I mean, yeah. I am... Anybody, you know, everybody yeah, is. But, everyone is. Yeah. But Maddie is, is, she's fantastic. So she was going to Honduras, and she asked yeah. us, was like, hey, would you guys be able to do another fundraiser concert? Yeah. Of course. Sure, yeah. Um, this is the one that went terrible. This is this is the one that was bad? Yes. Okay. Uh, it was a blast. Like, it was fun yeah, it to play. Was, it's always it was fun. a pretty good turnout, too. Not yeah. as good as the first year, but still, I mean, I was, we were happy yeah. with the turnout. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm happy with any turnout. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> if anyone if, shows up. Yeah, I'm happy. If nobody shows up, we still get the place of music. I'm, I'm down I'm, with I'm that, I'm cool too. with that. Um, so, you know, it was okay, but we just... We the were lights. prepared. Yeah, the lights. We there's a, you know, there's, we spent a lot a, of time on lights, not a lot of time on practice. On practicing, and it showed. Yeah, there's um, something to be said for there. There's something called prioritizing. Yes, <laughs> and some things are a priority, and some things are not necessarily a priority. Yes, which we learned the hard way. Yeah, but hey, you live and you learn. Yes, I mean, you know, like 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 the concert today, we did not spend any time worrying about lights. No we time. Practice the music, and it we were well. that much better for it. <laughs> um. So yeah, that concert just didn't go well. Just very sloppy. Uh, yeah, I felt. I mean, it was just a little sloppy. We had time yeah. issues. Like one one thing, like one reason I, I thought this concert. Phil did Phil drum for this one? I think um, he did. He might have. Yeah, he did because we did. have photos of him at the drum yep. set. Um, yeah, the the biggest problem was like you know like. We use monitors, which is when you have a sound system, you know, you put them in your ear so you can hear. What and this one, we we did it at my my church. Yeah, at, uh, the, at the church where they had they have all the tech, you know, they mm-hmm. have all the the stuff, and so because the last concert we just played with our own amps, and honestly, I prefer that. Yeah, I like playing it like that. Better. It sounds better. You can hear yourself. It, it really just I just think it sounds better. Um, but you know, there's something to be said for all that equipment. It makes oh, worship yeah. easier for oh, sure. Yeah. And then, like, and in certain situations, it probably is the better option. But I don't like the monitors, you know, for, like, especially mm-hmm. for our, our own concerts. Like, yeah. I'd rather just hear the, the sound. Um, and that was a mess. I mean, things were th- were going wrong with that. Like, I remember Thomas had, there was some timing issues. Like, we would get off beat. Yeah. And, like, that was yeah. that was rough. It was just, it was practice. Like, we didn't. We just didn't, yeah. Enough. We didn't, we didn't practice enough, and that, that was really the live and learn. Yeah, I mean that's and that's it. Like I'm, I'm still really glad we performed because yeah. I, I still had fun. Yeah. Two learning experience. Yeah, every time you perform in front of people, you learn, and that's the best way to get better too. I mean, mm-hmm. you go through those experiences, and it's like now you're ready, you know, for the yeah. next time. Like, um, yeah. And yeah then, but, uh, so we've done about two concerts a year. Um, the second one that year was we just did a uh, food drive. Yeah, because we just wanted to do another concert. Yeah, I think it was 
We did. And we like to do some good. Like, if we're going to do a concert, I mean, Might especially well if we're to. putting it on, like, yeah. we're not going to get paid for that or anything. We just mm-hmm. we just want to do... But we want to yeah, do some good with it. We can't, because... You literally if, can't. It's actually... Uh, I think I think the law is if you are playing music that you did not write, you cannot charge for you that. You can't charge admi- unless admittance. you have unless, like permission and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because which hasn't covers. stopped. Yeah, but that hasn't stopped people. Like if you go to a bar and there's a guy up there, you know, and he's playing the covers, he probably doesn't have the rights to the song. Yeah, I mean he's he doesn't. He's just he's just playing the song. Like it's not but, it's not something that's really enforced. But mm-hmm. if you went if you went into a big stadium or something and there was you know somebody was playing a song that they didn't have the rights for, then that would be a problem. Yeah. But like that and guy's no making gonna, you know come down on us. But yeah, we just you know better be safe than sorry. And if we can do some good while having fun, then we yeah, we, and we don't we need like to make to. money. It feels it feels kind of obnoxious to try to charge people to come to a show. Dude, I Phil's, mean, we're lucky to get every time we played at at uh, Phil's dad's church, yes, he would he always pay us. us. And we were like, dude, honestly, like we just we're just happy to play. We're happy to play. We're happy for the opportunity. He's like, no, no, yeah, he's like, no, no. And then yeah. he would buy us lunch, lunch, too. yeah. Again, Which, it was so nice, nicest guy. And that's, I mean, that was the first time I've ever been paid to play music. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that yeah. was and that was a different feeling too. I was like, crap, we're getting paid to do this. It's cool. Um, Hasn't happened since, but yeah, but <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's yeah. one of those things. Like, I don't need to get paid, you know, to oh, play yeah, music. Not like, at I, all. it's not honestly. At all. It's just. You do it because you love it. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, yeah. if you're doing it to get yeah. paid, you're probably not going to make it that far in the first place. Exactly. But, um, um, and so, Funders a Concert. Again, this is the first time that we had a, our friend Caitlin Little. Yeah. Oh, we can say her last name because, yeah. you know, she's, it's too we're, late. We're close. <laughs> We've already <laughs> said <laughs> last names. Um, but Caitlin, she sang with us. We met yeah. her at, the, at Camp uh, Electric, which we camp. mentioned, I think we mentioned previously. Yeah. That's where we learned, you know, we're supposed to be active on stage. Active on stage. We stuff. did learn some cool things and we did that meet camp some cool awesome. people. That camp was great. We met some awesome people. Like we Caitlin. learned, <laughs> like Caitlin. We also, um, we got to meet members of certain bands. Like it was, it was a Christian camp, so we got to meet some members of some Christian bands. But they were professionals. I mean, they get yeah. paid to do. And that. the ex guitarist for Taylor Swift. Like he, oh, yeah, traveled yeah. for Taylor Swift and stuff. Yeah, like that. And, and he played he, guitar for. Her. And he, yeah. now he now he tours with Toby Mac. Yeah, uh, uh, right. But I, don't, but I don't know about that. Right? I don't think so. Wasn't he the? I thought he was the guitarist for Toby Mac. No. Oh <laughs> no, my bad. Two, guys, <laughs> two different guys. Oh, this guy. Forget, well, he yeah, was I, was, like, I was in the bass group, so <laughs> I wasn't even there for fair. that. But he was like, "Yeah, uh, I was Taylor Swift's guitarist, but with with the music she plays now, not I'm much not, need for a guitar." <laughs> yeah. No offense. She doesn't, she doesn't really need me anymore. She doesn't <laughs> so need I was like, me oh, anymore. That's sad. That's sad. But all right. Where's Where's our song? <laughs> yeah, but it was. I missed, the, I missed that old Taylor. Uh, it was an awesome experience, it was a and we super met cool camp. Caitlin. It was in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. We live in Kansas, Nashville. Uh, Caitlin also lives in Kansas. Yeah, uh, by some miracle, you got to tell met, the story. Uh, okay, I, I told it tonight too. Yeah, yeah, but you got to um, tell it again. <laughs> uh, I should be practiced now, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, we at this quality. camp, uh, the brand Kaiser was there. They make guitar they make accessories. Capos. Yeah, uh, or capos, capos mostly capos. Like they're known for, like Kaiser capos is like a thing. I mean, people yeah. know exactly what you're talking about. You yeah. said Kaiser capo, like it's a distinctive style of capo. Exactly. Um, and they were they were there. They were selling capos, and they're like, "Hey, uh, you know, if you buy one of these like fifteen twenty dollars capos, we'll get you entered for a chance to win this uh, guitar." It was a mm-hmm. Kevin Michael fully carbon fi- fiber travel size yeah, guitar, which I'd never seen a carbon fiber guitar I before. Hadn't either. I didn't thought, know they exist. It looked real fancy. Um, and they're like, "Hey, you know, buy a capo, you'll be entered for a chance to win win this guitar." We looked at each other. At each other. Yeah, why not? Why not? You know. Yeah. It's not going to hurt anything. This isn't, you know... Yeah, we're out here in Nashville, camp, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. You know, I brought money to, you know, to buy on stuff. To yeah. buy on stuff. To pay to for buy stuff. Some, buy on stuff. We all three bought capos, I think, right? Yeah, we all yeah. three bought capos um, to be entered for a chance to win. And, mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, we get to the... I think it was the second to last day of the... Yeah. It was like one of the group of the meetings. Like, everyone met together in yeah. this auditorium. Everyone was in the auditorium. Had... There were thousands of people at this camp. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Lots of big artists too, like in the Christian yeah. world mo- mostly. Yeah. But um, and so, uh, sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Got a text. Gosh, wow. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah you're real it's focused. Caitlin actually, Caitlin's ruining the story about how we met. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> so where was I? Yeah. So we were all <laughs> the big group so meeting. Second to last wanna... day. This is this was the meeting where they're giving away the guitar. Yeah. Everyone knew it. You could feel it in the air. Like, I know the excitement. They were teasing was us about it. Uh, the guy actually, one of the guys, played the guitar like on yeah, stage. It was it, awesome. It sounded cool, you know. It was like... And uh, so they were like, uh, "All right, you know, are you guys ready for the you know 
who did find out who wins the guitar and mm-hmm. like, yeah. it's like anyone from Kentucky or something. I don't remember <laughs> yeah. what he said. He said and some state. Uh, yeah. I think he said like Carolina. Carolina. Was Carolina. Maybe. And then yeah. like it was just quiet. Like, yeah, nobody really said Okay, sick. good, because no one from Carolina won. <laughs> and like, what? what? <laughs> but our our hearts had like just dropped. Yeah, we're like, and uh, just like slightly uh, wrote like, slightly a oh, little bit. Maybe. A tinge of hope. And then he was like, How about Topeka, Kansas? We looked at each other. We we just like looked and we're like, I was it w- no was going way. through my mind is there is no way there's anyone else here at in Nashville, Tennessee from Topeka. that is from Topeka. Yeah, it's got to be so one like, of us three. It has to be one of us three. Yeah. And love Thomas. I was like, just please don't please, be Thomas. Because he please hated, don't he, be Thomas. he always said he didn't want an acoustic guitar. So he, he, always knew, hated he wouldn't acoustic, appreciate yeah. that guitar because it's an acoustic. Exactly. And so and I was like, <laughs> just not Thomas, just not Thomas. <laughs> uh, love you, Thomas. But yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, you know, Ryan McLeod. And I think he said my name right, which is yeah, actually he kind did. of surprising. <laughs> he and said so your name we, right. We, we freaked, freaked out. out. Everyone else is like super disappointed. Yeah, super disappointed. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> we're going crazy. Who the and hell like, are these guys you know, from Topeka, up, Kansas? Where the heck is Topeka, Kansas? And, and everyone else is like, oh, gosh dang it. Like they had their hopes up, but we're mm-hmm. freaking out in this huge auditorium. Yeah. We're so like yeah, the only three up. going crazy. Exactly. Everyone was just kind of looking at us like, <laughs> Whoa, we hate you right now. Exactly. But I didn't care. I was so excited. We ran up. You went on stage. We followed you up stage. We didn't go on with you. Yeah. We were back on stage. And he like took the guitar off because he was playing it and mm-hmm. handed it to me. And I was like, dude, this is dude, awesome. This is so cool. Super lightweight. Oh, yeah. I, wow. That was that was an amazing moment. It was. And then it was afterwards. And then that we, we walked down like off the stage, and mm-hmm. Caitlin is there with she had I think her friend was there. Yeah, uh, she had a friend there. And she's I like, think. Hey, did did they say you were from Topeka, Kansas? I'm mm-hmm. like, Yeah. I'm like, yeah. hey, I'm I'm Caitlin. From I'm from yeah, yeah 30 minutes 30 away. Minutes up. It's like, that's, That's crazy. Amazing. <laughs> like, and didn't think we'd run into anybody else here from yeah. our neck of the woods. Yeah. Neck of the woods. <laughs> our, na- our, our neck, neck of the woods. woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. And so like that's how we met. Yeah, we stayed in touch much. and she's yeah, she played such a cool in person. Three, two concerts of ours? Uh, three? Two, maybe three. She might be at three now because after tonight. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah. She's I mean she's played with us yeah. and she she sings, plays guitar. She mm-hmm. plays piano and saxophone and a bunch of other stuff too. <laughs> she's yeah, super, everything. super talented. And her friend Adam played with us tonight yeah and he plays everything yeah. he showed up with a bass he, he was playing the cajon and then he could play piano too yeah like i'm pretty sure he could just do whatever yeah well we'll, we'll get there i think <laughs> i think we no our fundraiser concert was the last one we did before tonight right um besides yeah i mean you and i we played at the oh coffee yeah shop. so yeah that the fundraiser concert didn't go great, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it was I, still, bad. I always have fond memories yeah. of them. No, because yeah, Caitlin played at the uh, our second uh, Honduras fundraiser. Yes. So, yeah, so it yeah, must yeah. have been. Yeah, it so, must have been. This yeah. must have been the second, second time. Yeah, Caitlin played at our second Honduras fundraiser concert. Yeah, this was our third one. She played with us to get tonight. So after that, um, yeah, I don't know <laughs> the timeline. But that was about all the, all the ones we've talked about that. have happened. It had been a while because, well, for one, I went off to college and that made things difficult because, yeah. you know, when you're not in the immediate vicinity, I mean, I'm, we would send like songs to each other and stuff. Mm-hmm. But the band, like the band that we would play with that was like Thomas and Phil and all of us, we kind of started drifting because, yeah. like, Phil, you know, he's been in college for a while and he's doing his own music thing. Like, he plays at coffee shops too. He, mm-hmm. like, he had his own thing going on. And then, you know, you and Thomas were still here, but like I was farther away, and then we didn't have a drummer to play with, and then yeah, because Tanner moved, he went off to college too, and yeah, so we so didn't have a just, drummer, and yeah, it was kind of an awkward, you know, point but, of time where like you know, yeah, uh, and Thomas came up to me one day, he's like, hey, you know, I kind of want to do this music thing on my own, I'm gonna be yeah. leaving the band, so which like, was, okay, so yeah. I was like, okay, now this is you no, know, I like I know I was like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna. Performing, yeah. you know, I don't know. If, yeah, it was. He kind was of, our remember, lead guitar player and lead singer. So yeah, like, which kind of made you know we're like hit. crap. Things are gonna change. Like that was that was. I remember being like, I really just want to do the band thing again. Like mm-hmm. actually, I was talking about this um, last year to to a friend of mine at college because it had been so long since we performed. Mm-hmm. I was like, I seriously, I really miss performing. I want to. Yeah. I want to play music so bad. And mm-hmm. I was. I was. But gosh, me I, and you. We got invited to kind of headline a uh, open mic at uh, yeah, a coffee see, shop in, at, Creighton. at Creighton. And so I had actually I'd played for this open mic night before, like like through my freshman year. They always they had it every Thursday night, and I would show up and just play a few songs, you know. And I got to know the people who were putting it on, and uh, 
Then this year they, they did it differently. Instead of every Thursday night, they were going to make it like a big they, they contacted like the four. There was like four of us who really who came regularly, and they're like, we're going to have these nights, and you can sign up, and it'll be like your night. And then if there's anybody else who wants to play, you can do that too. Mm-hmm. And so um, I told Ryan about it, and I was like, hey, do you want to like play together? You know, at this mm-hmm. coffee shop thing. And like it was honest, it was pretty cool. It I, was it was really yeah. Cool. I had I had a lot of fun. Um, I got to go up to Creighton. And meet some yeah, of his friends got to meet. He got to meet some of my friends. Like it was it was a pretty cool deal. Um, the coffee shop. I mean, it's it's different playing in a coffee shop too because it's like your yeah. It was music. it was just I mean, me and him with acoustic guitars. Which yeah, was, two acoustic it was guitars. Really cool. Yeah, which honestly I thought and it was fun. I mean, this is going know, from was, you know. Thomas and I like, both having electric guitars, yeah, and, and drum full drum kit. Like, oh we, yeah, because like I honestly, I think what I think this is my theory of what was going on. It's like we started out to at this point where like we didn't really know that much about music, so we compensated a lot with like more sound, more equipment, more yeah. everything, and yeah. then it's like now well, Thomas Thomas knew a lot, and he liked yeah. that kind of sound too. So yeah, we kind of like he, yeah, so we just went on board. You know, we're what, like whatever you say because you yeah. you know more than we he do. Is, he is an experienced musician. Like he yeah. played guitar for like most of his life, you know, and he's, and he's really good. Um, and so, but that was kind of what we, what we did. But then like now, you know, like I, I had, so we played I this had some time acoustic thing at, uh, at Java J, which is the yeah. name of the coffee shop. Um, um, and then we had a, our concert tonight was acoustic. Um, yeah. but how this kind of happened is, you know, like I said, we didn't know if we were ever going to play as a band again, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and you kind of talked about, yeah, we're finding I mean, someone we in Creighton to. and trying yeah. to find a new band. Uh, but Maddie yeah. came up to us like, "Hey, can we do another Honduras fundraiser concert? You know, she's going again. Yeah, um, she wanted to know if we'd be able to put on a concert. Money, yeah. and we're like, well, I mean, we'd love to. Yeah, we're like, well, um, sure. I mean, we, we don't know how we're going to make it work, but yeah, we'll figure uh, something. But in. so she's an incredible singer. So like, we'll probably just have her have take her over sing. the lead yeah. lead singing part that Thomas left out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can do an acoustic thing because we won't have Thomas as lead guitar. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, he's a lot better guitarist than I am. <laughs> at, at least so, at lead stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you got you got rhythm down. I yeah. mean, <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we're like, we could do like an acoustic thing. So we talked to Caitlin, yeah. and we ended she up doing down. it uh, like at the end of her spring break, so she could do it. And mm-hmm. she was like, Hey, I got I got a friend who could play a who's percussionist. He can do yeah, drums. He can do drums or whatever. Like, that's yeah. perfect. Perfect. You know, oh, we're literally gonna have Caleb. Play. Uh, yeah, like I was going to play the djembe. Like I was going to do... Because, like, I was thinking, you know, there's probably a few songs where it would be nice to have some sort of percussion mm-hmm. something. So I was like, well, I'll just... I'll do my best, yeah. you know? <laughs> Caleb's just like, you know, I'm, whatever I'm the, we need. Yeah, yeah, Caleb can all, do that. Throw it, just throw it my way. We'll yeah. see what happens. <laughs> um, but they're like, yeah, I got a guy. You know, I have a friend who can play percussion. So it yeah. just kind of worked out perfectly. Mm-hmm. And tonight's show, I think, went... Awesome. Really well. The I've, turnout was a little bit better than I was expecting. Yes, me too. I because I was uh, thinking like leading up to it, it was about ten minutes before, our, and we had our previous concert did not have a great turnout. The our last oh, fundraiser concert. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I do. Yeah, I remember. It wasn't. I mean, I'm not going to complain. People showed up yeah. to watch us. I mean, play first music. of all, I'm not I mean, who? Complain. Yeah, because who even cares about us? You know, like, exactly. <laughs> like why? Why people? Do, why people show up <laughs> in the first place is a, is amazing to me. Uh-huh. But um, but yeah, this time like there, it was about ten minutes before, and like. Caitlin's family was there, and like I think some of um, Maddie's friends, and that was like, yeah, that was it. And I, I was like, well, I'm cool with that. I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I've, I was excited. We just practiced. We've done like a run through, and I was mm-hmm. like, I'm feeling pretty good about about it. And then um, uh, we we went and prayed in the in the back room, and then we came out, and like a lot more people <laughs> showed up. Yeah, like all the chairs <laughs> that we had set up specifically for like for uh-huh. the thing that we were going for were all yeah, filled up. Filled there were up. extra chairs, but they weren't. Yeah, they weren't really like we didn't set them up per se, but, but like, um, but yeah, people were, were sitting there. I mean, it it was just cool. I mean, and it's it not awesome. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not like we're we're sitting in front of an auditorium filled oh, with people. No, but but I mean, still, like, I mean, there were people I didn't know, and I was like, oh, this is yeah, and awesome. I, I yeah, yeah, we had conversations with people who yeah. you know. And so we we'll talk about your your conversation yeah. in, a, in a minute. Um, awesome, awesome. Time. I know. So Gosh, we played. So it was an acoustic show, which was different for us. You know, going from the huge clutch guitars and stuff to an acoustic thing. Mm-hmm. I think we were all excited about it, though. Um, yeah. Something new, but Maddie sang. She killed it. Caitlin yeah. sang and played guitar. Mm-hmm. She killed it. Maddie played cello, too. Yes, and her cello was beautiful. beautiful. Oh, gosh. And it just... sounded so... It added just this this tinge of, like... It just... It felt like somebody... It sounded like somebody, like, crying out, you know? Like, yeah. Just, it uh, was just I know we're, we're, we're romanticizing this. It probably... <laughs> if we look back on it, it probably does not probably sound not like, we, like we imagine um, it. But, but you know what? It was fun to play, and that's all. And I the audience... I mean, they were... They seemed into it. They seemed like... Yeah. It just... 
I, th- I feel like it went really, really well. Yeah. Um, I just and had a then great uh, time. Yeah, and it wasn't like a huge thing. It was kind of a laid back. Like we yeah. we said, it was supposed to be just a laid back, you know, coffee shop kind of thing. Nothing yeah. too crazy. Yeah, come um, in and just take a take a seat for a while. You yeah, know, like exactly, and you know, drink some coffee, just yeah. relax, maybe and talk to some people. I mean, you yeah, know, like, yeah, it, but I I think it went really really well tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I couldn't be happier personally yeah. with how it went. It was um, it was just amazing. I I was then, I was nervous. I was really nervous about. There was some songs I was gonna play piano for. Yeah, he played what bass, yeah. piano, harmonica, <laughs> and what else? And guitar. And guitar. And, yeah. yeah. They um. But you know, I mean, like it's it just it scared me because it's not really that complex. So really, what the story is is like I had taken a, a music theory class in college, and we had to learn to play piano. Like they mm-hmm. you needed to learn, and there was a final where I had to play a piece, you know, and like so that's where I had started that. But then uh, when we started talking about the concert, I was like, well, I wonder. I mean, I could probably look something up and try to learn to play some of the stuff, you mm-hmm. know? And then I started practicing. I was like, you know what? I think maybe I could actually do this. And then I was like, and then my thought was, well, if I'm going to get better at playing and I need to play in front of people. Like, Dude, and you you seriously killed it. Like, there were, uh, you played on, you. what, four songs? Yeah. but uh, Yeah, something like, or two, maybe, yeah, four? No, three. Three, three songs. Yeah, three but songs. Two of them are like, Piano was the, yeah. like, the main thing, yeah. we, and we there was played, a little piano part and everything. Yeah, we not played just, how, like, you, how, how to save a life. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure, I'm by sure, the fray. yeah, by the fray. You can you probably recognize that one if you yeah, look we, it up. Well, that one didn't go great. Not not, uh, not <laughs> on your part, but we skipped a verse and. A yeah. of things, so. <laughs> uh, who, knew, who noticed? Yeah. <laughs> I had fun playing it. I it was, was like, a blast. Yeah, but I mean, like you, you, you killed it, man, on oh, piano. Thanks. So thanks, and and the other one before. Before yeah, you start your before day. you start your day, which is a um, Twenty One Pilot. It's it's actually when they're lesser known because they're they're super popular. But like it's an yeah. old song of theirs, and mm-hmm. like Maddie really liked it, and I hadn't heard it before. But then mm-hmm. I looked it up, and I was like, oh, this piano part. And then like I looked up, I spent a lot of time. I looked at the piano part, and I printed out sheet music, and like oh, yeah. actually like learn, you know. And uh, you and sounded so I felt like, good. You killed it, man. Like uh, it's, it's not so. I, I was nervous for you, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Because he's not a, an instrument. I'm not a, not a piano player, player but <laughs> you sounded like a piano player. Oh, <laughs> like, thank you, dude. It was awesome. Yeah, I, it, it um, made me smile so much. You looked over at me and you're like, "Hey, can we give it up to Caleb?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 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 he. I mean, he thing. surprised me. I think it was because when we practiced, he was using a I was horrible using, yeah, little keyboard. And I have to say, like, so the the. The keyboard I was using, it was my grandma's old Panito, which is a little piano. It's not a full-size mm-hmm. piano. And I, I love it. It reminds me of my grandma, you know, and it's great for practice, but it's just not built for a performance. Yes, it doesn't. <laughs> and have not the for the modern sounds, time. It's, it's from, like, the 1980s. Like, it was yeah. expensive back in its day, but it's, you know, it's 2018, mm-hmm. and it's there's different things out there. Yeah. Um, um, so, but, but the I second d- to last, we played, what, 11, 12 songs? Uh, I think it was ten. It was ten total. Well, pl- yeah, it was ten, right? I think I think it was a little bit more than ten. Oh, maybe anyway, it was. about I, I never we played for. Them. It was about fifty minutes total. Yeah, um, with some talking and stuff like that in mm-hmm. between. Um, but our second to last song, excuse me, was the only original that we did. Um, mm-hmm. It's one that you wrote. Um, yeah, called Grim, and that it was awesome. Like, Thanks, man. We <laughs> we had played it a couple times before. Yeah, uh, we, we played, played it at the coffee shop. Yeah, um, but it was just us two, you know, yeah. two acoustic guitars, which is the way we originally did it. I mean, like, yeah. there, there's actually a video on YouTube. Two um, videos. Yeah, at the Java J and then one, one at the Java J and one that we recorded that like in watch. my basement. <laughs> yeah, don't watch that one. <laughs> which I mean, that was but that was the first. That's like the first time we really got the song. You mm-hmm. know, like the, and Ryan. For you know, like to his credit, he wrote like he made the 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 lead part on yeah, guitar. I mean, like I I came up with like you know the chords and stuff, but um, some of the distinctive sound is is from Ryan. But yeah, anyway, but. anyway, I I mean I just you know I I I like writing music. I try you know to, to show. I showed. I think I played it for you once or something, mm-hmm. or like, and I played it for. Um, I mean I played it for myself. You know, like and people had heard. You know, but it's yeah. just you know you're writing music. It's but just this for was you. the first time that we played it with like a band. Like, yeah, we had like, a cello. We had, we had another cello, guitarist. Cello just we had so uh, well. the Adam on the like on the cajon. Cajon. Yeah, it sounded awesome. Like it oh, was man. such a good song. And then uh, even afterwards, I mean, you had yeah. someone come up to you. And, I I did. And well, because the song is just, it's kind of about his sister. Yeah. Um, and the kind of the struggle she's gone through and that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's um, about it's about my sister. I don't I know if any of you know me, you know personally, you probably know that my sister suffers with anorexia. Um, it's something she's dealt with for a very long time. But I wrote that song kind of, you know, about her about mm-hmm. her struggle, you know, and like, mm-hmm. and it's actually, you know, it's something. A lot of times when I'm like 
writing a poem or like writing a song. I'm, I'm just writing what I feel like I need to write. You know, and sometimes I don't even think about what it, you know, what does this mean exactly? Or like, yeah. how does this, I'm just writing what I feel like. Um, but it wasn't until uh, like tonight, you know, and, and you, you look at the lyrics and then I had this, this woman walk up after, uh, after we played and she's like, you know, I really liked your song. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, that means a lot to me. She's like, no, I like, I loved it. Like it was, mm-hmm. you know, she's like, the the music itself, you know, the melody was just beautiful, and I was like, well, thank you. That that means a lot too. I mean, mm-hmm. that's that's cool, you know. Like we and you know, and that was, and I mentioned like, well, you know, Maddie on the cello, like that yeah. helps a lot. Like, yeah. it was it was great. And there's no better feeling than like one. There's no better feeling than when people approach you afterwards and they they say these things. And she almost made me cry because yeah. she told me she's like, um, what she said she liked about the song was that the lyrics aren't like you know, you're going through a hard time, but if you're strong, you'll make it through, you know, or if you do this, you're going to be okay. It's a realistic song. It's, you know, yeah. The world is rough sometimes. And and some people's stories are filled with unpleasant things, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what the song's about. And she was just expressing this, this, um, that she liked that about the song. And she told me like that, that she suffered with cancer and she started crying. She started tearing up Mm -hmm. and I, I, it really it hit me that's, hard. <laughs> that's one of the greatest things about music is just being able to, you through can, your own experiences and own stories, being able to you can touch people's touch hearts, other other you know people where they are in their life. And uh, I know Need to Breathe kind of talks about it uh, when they play their their closing song at their last concert. Yeah, uh, they say you know all of our songs are about us. About and us. Our band yeah. and I mean, what else do we're you not, really write about? Like that's like you know we're not we don't think we're smart enough to be able to tell you what to feel. This, yeah. They're just about us, but we're honored that you guys allow us to be a part of your life and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's what, to me, music is about, is, you know, just yeah. affecting others and that kind of stuff. And we had it happen once, at least once, with a Broken. Yeah, we had another um, man approach us and, and talk to us about his story. And yeah, and that's it's just one of the coolest things. when you It know, really is. There's nothing like... Seeing somebody, I mean, they have a, a they have an emotional reaction. I mean, to like something tears, that, you know, to something that 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 you made. But and we have that, like it's, emotional reaction yeah. too. Because like, it's honestly to us, you know. I right? I was I could have teared up if I wanted to while playing oh, the song. Man. Like like I and it's something I've listened. Like I've heard a bunch of times. We've played it a bunch of times. But just mm-hmm. having the, all the music and stuff, and you know, yeah. I, you just told the story behind it, and, and just listening to the words, and it's like oh, it's yeah. I, really, I loved every second of it. It was awesome. It, one, one thing for sure, like I'd played it, you know, for myself in my room mm-hmm. you know, or like, you know, trying to just, or like even us, you know, at, at the coffee shop and stuff. And it was great. I mean, I, I always, you know, I'm like, you know, I like it and it means something to me. Um, and, but having the band there, you know, and like, and hearing it come to life, you know, yeah. like it felt real mm-hmm. and like, it was just an amazing feeling. And then when that woman talked to me, there's, that is one of the best feelings in the world. When you see someone who's like, Really affected by by your music or by something way, you play, hopefully. yeah, <laughs> by a good w- yeah, yeah, in a good way. Um, it's it, just the best thing ever. That's what makes it worth it. I mean, you know, we're not yeah. doing it for money or anything. No, which and even if like you know, you you get thirty five people show up. We're not filling stadiums here, but like yeah, we're just being yeah. The fact that we could you know that woman touch she, one person's yeah. life for one small moment for a moment second. of their you know. I've, that's what that's what makes it yeah, worth it. Yeah, that's that's the best thing, you know. I, I mean, no amount of money or no amount of like attention or anything. Yeah. I mean, that's like it's that's all why nice you play too, music, but you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the moment that that you know you ask yourself sometime like, why do I play music? You know, like I should be maybe I should be doing something real with my time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should be like working or making things yeah. or something. And it's like you know, maybe, but these are the reasons. Like, mm-hmm. there's people are affected in, in an emotional way that they wouldn't have been otherwise. And like, yeah, that's what keeps me going. I mean, and I had people uh, come up to me tonight and it's like, you guys, like this concert was awesome. And it's people who had seen us before, and they yeah. told me like, you guys just seemed to really click tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know that feels good too. You know, yeah, we're, that we're making good. progress. And yeah, and, and we have. We've, I mean, like, I'm not saying like, man, look at us now, because yeah. we we don't know what we're doing half oh, the time. I mean, not let's at all. be real. <laughs> I mean, we just throw stuff together <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. College students. We were young. I mean, you know, high school what, students. what the heck are we doing? Having yeah, fun, <laughs> whoever but, we are. Um, um, but it's still. I mean, you know, we, you learn. I mean, with every every step, you learn, yeah. and so. You know, and it meant something because these people who are here, I mean, we tend to have the, the same people who come to see us because, yeah. you know, they know us or they've been there before, you know. And so, um, and they, when they tell you something like that, you believe it because, you know, they've seen you before. <laughs> they've <laughs> seen you in the, in the worst. They've seen you. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was pretty great. But great, great day today. Yeah. Great show. Good day. Um, it was a good day. 
Good day, man. Yeah, good day. All right. This has been a Cabin Flannel episode four, I believe. Yep. Um, I am your host, Ryan. And I've been Caleb. All right. And we will see you guys next Wednesday.